Welcome to the webinar, everybody. I'm Clive. I'm not. <laughs> I'm Louie. <laughs> and today we're going to be sharing with you what is LOD? That's a good question, right? It is, is a good is question. A level of detail, de definition, design, development, development. Design, yeah. Development. What is LOD? We'll take a brief look at where that LOD concept has come from and also how it's changed over the number of 10, 15 years or so. And then we'll look at the challenges that people have really uncovered in trying to implement something like this. And then most importantly is the solutions, the solutions that we have heard and built with others around the world. And we'll be able to share some of that with you in the technology that we've created and that we now have, I think in 70 something, I think we're 71, 71 different yeah. countries. And we'll have one poll for you guys too. And a poll question. Yep. Why would we need a plan when it comes to BIM? Isn't it just put some model element into a, a virtual building and then use the building? Could be. Could be. Is it, is it that easy? Yeah. Well, what we see on the screen, courtesy of Trimble, is on the left-hand side, there's a BIM. On the right-hand side, there's also a BIM. Which BIM do we need? Right. It's all about the use. So what are you going to use the model for? If the model on the left hand side was the one that we got, but we actually wanted the model on the right hand side, then we would not have enough. Yeah, we would be lacking, there would be gaps and we wouldn't be able to do what we needed to do. And vice versa, if it was the other way around, we'd have way too much. Mm -hmm. And either way, there is a lot of waste because we can't get to what we need. We found that when we do plan, we can cut out the waste and we can really build a model fit for purpose and we're able to drive the workflow and get value from it and everyone's happy about BIM. But if we don't get it right, things can, things can yeah. be a bit of a challenge. Yeah. Let's briefly look at the history. Where did this come from? On the left-hand side, and this is Curti of Marzia, um, fantastic diagram that depicts how this concept has developed since our Vico days. I was very fortunate to be part of the team developing these first ideas of how we would divide, define a model detail but at that point in time, it was about the geometry detail. It wasn't about all of the other things that naturally we would need to be able to manage and plan. So at that point in time, it was about controlling the detail, the geometry, so that we could actually calculate quantities in the software that we had at that point in time. It was really important. And if you're not familiar with Vico, Vico is a tool that consumed a model to take quantities and estimation for those purposes so obviously a scale like this was necessary so that they can you know continuously improve their next project yeah th there was one primary fo focus and that was quantities mm -hmm. for estimating and scheduling from that 2004 2005 time we saw much more uses of models many more uses and therefore then certain other things started to become important so lod was originally level of detail it became level of development to show more about the maturity and the progression of a model. And it was more about protecting the release of a model and whether it was fit for purpose. And it became the first BIM contract in 2008, thanks to Jim Bedrick and Webcore and the AIA. And then over time, as lots of other countries started to adopt and adapt, and BIM was very important in, in regions around the world, we saw information become very important. And Kobe data, or the Kobe transfer protocol really was important. BIM became used for lots of other things. Then in the UK, this term level of definition. So it went from detail to development to definition. Are you confused yet? <laughs> <laughs> and then this level of information as well as a scale came in. So definition was the umbrella term. Detail became used in the UK and then information as well, level of information. And then, as more and more scanning was prevalent, so using laser scanning, accuracy suddenly became important. Being able to understand what the level of accuracy was of a measured or represented model is essential. So then this LOA scale started to come about. Lots of different uses, lots of different countries, lots of different definitions, and <laughs> it, it didn't become clearer, I would say, it became a little bit more cloudy. 